Uh, luckily enough, we got to head down to Mexico, and the forecast looked really good. The waves were incredible. I uh, had a brand new set of boards, and we were ready. If you could go back to your 14 year old self, what, what, what advice would you give yourself? Huh. Well, um, it's a tough question. That's a good question. I, I like that question. I just don't know really, uh, uh, you know, because uh, I guess, you know, <laughs> I was having fun at 14 as well, so I don't know if I would change anything necessarily. That's the best answer ever. Yeah. Serving with Tom was awesome because he had the perfect point break style. You could tell he grew up at a point break and he had a super flowy style, super cool high lines. He was riding an awesome fish with weird fins. Um, and yeah, it was awesome. He's a super nice dude and it was, it was super awesome. Uh, yeah, he's, it's crazy he won that many world titles and that many CTs. Uh, due to the fact that he is the mellowest guy in the lineup ever and he still rips like crazy But he doesn't seem like the competitive type anymore for sure While we were in Mexico, I got to meet and serve with this kid named Kalama. He was a super rad kid. He served all day from morning to dark. Yeah, his, he's, he has super sick style. Uh, he grew up serving point breaks, so, and just perfect waves. So he has the craziest rail game ever. And yeah, super awesome kid. The froth levels above the charts. Yeah, I can't imagine how he's gonna surf when he's like 13. Uh, He'll have so many waves under his belt, serving perfect right point breaks and left point breaks. It'll, it'll be crazy. We were there for quite a bit and the waves were incredible pretty much the entire time. Uh, either you had to walk up the point or paddle back up the point and it was like 100 degrees. So you get tired pretty quick. And if you do that for more than like three or four days, you get completely blown out and it was super exhausting and gnarly for sure. I was like waking up and like so tired. I, w I just wished it was flat for at least one day so just so we could recover. Um, yeah, it was, it was gnarly. It was full cardio test for sure. Uh, I feel like it can hardly move. I'm super tired, but uh, still super fun. Uh, hopefully get a couple more. Uh, I'm riding a uh, Mankind uh, 5L, super fun. How's it go? Uh, great, works really good. Great on rail, great for speed. Just sick board all around. Nice. All right, well have fun, dude. Okay. I'm gonna walk back. Right on.
I love going down there every summer, at least once or twice a year, and seeing bugs. Yeah, he's such a cool uncle, such a mellow uncle, and then when he goes in the water, you just, you don't expect him to be ripping so hard, and all of a sudden, he's yeah, getting the bugs. biggest turn to ever. It's so awesome. Bang! But just for me, obviously, in my generation, uh, seal the ra rail game, uh, you know, enhancing is, is pretty cool to see from, from Jackson. You know, that the, the rail, the rail deal, right? Yeah, dude. Um, so, you know, obviously this is a, a great place to improve on, you know, it's just a giant wave pool down here.
Oh, it's a snap skull. A fish! That's a little he rips, dude! Out. Holy crap! Big wave out the back. Go, go, go! Fish! He's gonna make it back around. He's a speedy little guy, too. Right here, lay back. That's so sick. <laughs>